Scientologists often feel their religion has been unfairly criticized in the media, so we gave a local Scientologist an opportunity to defend his faith. You'll also hear from a former member who calls the church a cult. Scientology does have answers, answers that work. Its followers call it the world's fastest growing religion, a religion heavily promoted by some Hollywood heavyweights. There's tools that, that you have that I can actually, that you apply to your life. A religion mired in controversy. It's a slow, slow train of mind control. But what is Scientology? To answer that question, you have to go back more than 50 years when science fiction writer L. Ron Hubbard published Dianetics. The self-help book became an instant bestseller. Millions of people connected with Hubbard's concept of the reactive mind, what we would call the subconscious mind. The reactive mind is the so-called hidden portion of your brain that stores all your painful thoughts and experiences. Experiences the book promises to erase with the help of spiritual counseling sessions, also known as auditing. His ultimate goal in Dianetics was clear, which would be you'd have a perfect memory, a perfect IQ, and I've yet to meet a Scientologist with that. Tori Chrisman is no longer a member of the Church of Scientology, but for 30 years she claims she spent about a half million dollars on sessions designed to remove stress and self-doubt and improve her physical well-being. Tori claims fellow Scientologists pressured her to quit taking the drugs she used to stop her epileptic seizures. And luckily, thank God, my mom was on top of it and kept saying, they're going to kill you. You know, you're going to end up dead. We stand opposed to drugs, and that is one of the reasons why it generates some controversy. Dave Meyer is a spokesman for San Diego's Church of Scientology. He says the church would never advocate anyone to stop taking their medication, but he also believes that if I can provide counseling so that the person wouldn't need to take it, they'd be a lot better off. It's an opinion echoed by Tom Cruise. Drugs aren't the answer. One of Scientology's most popular spokesmen chastised Brooke Shields for taking an antidepressant to treat her postpartum depression. You don't know the history of psychiatry. I do. He's an actor. He's not a doctor. As Tori climbed the higher rungs of the religion, she says she became increasingly dissatisfied with the mythology of Scientology. Mythology, she says, was used to convince her her epileptic convulsions were caused by aliens inhabiting her body. As you move up, you get up into the top secret levels where basically you find out you're covered with space aliens and those are the cause of all of your moments of pain and unconsciousness. Comedy Central South Park recently satirized this once hidden doctrine of Scientology. It was a galactic federation of planets which was ruled over by the evil Lord Zemo. The fact is that's uh, very sensational, but it's just not the case. <laughs> Dave Meyer claims the space mythology is not a tenant of the church, a church he believes has been unfairly maligned for trying to help solve a series of social problems. The fact is that we're out there in the community working on drugs and youth programs and a variety of ways to make things better. Over the years, the church has denied the mythology and that an evil lord named Xenu ever existed. But details of the secret doctrine are now posted all over the internet, including this document purportedly written by L. Ron Hubbard. I haven't read that material, so I can't speak to it. But what I can speak to is the fact that there are millions of words that uh, L. Ron Hubbard has written that I'm able to apply in life and make my life better. Dave says it's up to you to decide if Scientology really works. We really encourage people to read and to look for themselves. Scientology's detractors offer the same advice. Read both sides of it on the internet, in books, and then you make up your own mind what's right for you. Eric Collins, Fox 6 News.